Welcome to a video where I shall rank characters in a specific genre, and piss off people because it does not match up with their opinion, and therefore believe I should be incarcerated today. I shall be ranking the top 5 upgrade plants in the original Plants vs Zombies game, out of a potential 6 candidates. As like I said back in my initial video, I will not be considering the imitator as an upgrade plant, due to its unique functionality. Additionally, the twin sunflower and gold magnet will be excluded from this list, since the two of them fill one distinctive role that is too specific to exactly rank them. So, let's get started. In 5th place. We have the Gloom Shroom. The Gloom Shroom may be only 5th place on this list, but that doesn't mean that by any means that this plant is bad. The Gloom Shroom offers a 4 burst attack that racks up damage extremely quickly, and within a 3 by 3 area, which allows him to decimate groups of zombies. He works extremely well in a setup that force zombies into designated kill lanes, as he can contribute a lot of the damage. The only reason why he's so far down on the list, is due to his limited range of 3 by 3 and the fact that if you wish to use him in daytime levels, you have to dedicate it 3 entire seed slots, being Fume Shroom, Gloom Shroom, and Coffee Bean. In 4th place. We have the Cattail. Cattails are rather versatile, having access to the entire board at all times. This makes them exceptionally great when you are just setting up your defenses at the start of a level. Additionally, they also target balloon zombies, which when paired with the previously mentioned map wide range, makes them great in almost any setup. As for why they only place 4th, they can only be used on the 3rd and 4th areas, due to cattail needing to be solely placed on water. Additionally, they do not fend off groups of zombies well and tend to get overwhelmed. In third place, we have the spike rock. These plants are much like cattails, in them being quite flexible, although for a very different and much more impactful reason. Spike rocks do more damage than spike weeds, and are fairly cheap, but that's not the main reason it has earned its third place title. That belongs to its unique function, of being able to tank either 9 vehicle pops, or 9 gargantuous mashes. And with how dangerous these kinds of enemies are, having a plant capable of stopping them, along with synergizing them with wind to melon makes spike rocks a strong and fairly cheap defensive option against those kinds of threats, along with steadily shredding weaker enemies. In second place, we have the Cobb Cannon. To put it bluntly, the Cobb Cannon is essentially a reusable cherry bomb that once constructed will grant you one free use every 35 seconds, outpacing a lot of instant kill plants. Additionally, you can deploy this instant kill anywhere, even directly on top of your other plants, and they will not be harmed. And because they deal the same damage as your bog standard instant plant, they can deliver the main firepower of a lot of setups, especially when used on large amounts. They would have had first place had it not been for the Cobb Cannon being extremely expensive at a total of 700 per cannon, and being the only plant in the game to take up more than one tile. And in first place, we have the Winter Melon. Now some would swap these two around in a lot of cases, since Cobb Cannon has far more damage, and honestly, that does make sense from that perspective. However, what Winter Melon has to offer, just barely manages to outclass Cobb Cannon in my option, primarily due to it having the ice mechanic, which is honestly fucking broken. On top that, dealing heavy damage, and dealing splash, pretty much means that all you need for maximum slowdown, is just one column of Winter Melons, and you will be all set to go. The rest can just be normal melon parts. Whilst they are a bit on the expensive side, at a total of 500 sun, with how much they have to offer, I believe the price is more than justified, and is why that I believe Winter Melon to be the best upgrade plant in the game. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.